right, Chef Robert, before we can start cooking, I have to ask you the question, cats or dogs? Both. We have both at home. Oh, do you? Yes. At one time, we had, my when I was in the military, my daughter, we, in the military, you can have, in housing, you can have three pets. Mm -hmm. So I ran out and got three goldfish right away, and I said, oh, <laughs> I'll end this right We're away. Mm -hmm. well, she didn't buy that, so we wound up having a bird. We wound up having a cat. So that was, you and had, then... You, sounds like you wound up having a food chain. I, well, actually, it did, because we came home one day, and the fish and the bird were gone, but the cat was very happy. <laughs> so that's when we went to a dog after that. So, but uh, that's, that's just part of it. Today, we're going to use uh, Cyrus Vodka. Uh, it's a distilled vodka, uh -huh. and a lot of people don't know it's made right here in Richmond. I oh, know, I didn't know it's that. It's right in Richmond. I didn't know that. And it's right along next to Absolute. It's probably one of our number one brands that we sell at the hotel, mm -hmm. at the bars. Not only that, cooking is fabulous. Yeah. I mean, the flavors are there if you like that. But okay. you always have to remember to burn this off. What I'm going to do to start off with first, we're going to make salmon, and of course, we're making pasta today. Mm -hmm. So Cheryl's over there saying, okay. All right. And uh, I'm going to make the, the salsa first, and I'm going to make the glaze for the, for the salmon, and okay. then we'll go into the sauce. Now, the sauce is, of course, making sauce is like a marriage. You have to start off strong and then start letting it simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. That's how my wife and I got to stay together 43 years because uh, <coughs> after 25 years, I took her somewhere. I took her to China. Uh huh. Then when 50 years come up, I'll go back and get her. Ha <laughs> ha. That's nice. 43 years wedding your anniversary. Huh? It's February 5th. Oh. What's that? This is going to be mango. Oh, I thought it was squash. I'm glad no. I asked. Then I'm putting red peppers in. It's a regular salsa. Mm -hmm. But what I like to do with the salsa is I like to cook it first, shallots. Then I cool it and use it later. Because when you have a salsa, you, you don't want to have all the crunch. You want to have it blended. So jalapenos, very little. Mm-hmm. Lime juice. When, you, when I do a lime, I like to do it, everything facing up, so you don't get so any seeds, seeds in it. Mm -hmm. Let it run through your hand, and usually a couple teaspoons of stuff is plenty for it. Yep. And then we're going to let this simmer, and you'll see what happens after it's done. But it's really, uh, it's really great. Cucumbers. I'll put a little bit in now for the flavor, and then I'll put more in after it's completed. So there'll be a little crunch. A little crunch to the cucumber. You expect that with a cucumber. Right. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead with very the... Uh, it's very colorful. It's, it's nice, and we'll let it simmer. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead with the... Uh, glaze. The glaze that a we're going to use. glaze. Put the shallots in first, or red mm -hmm. onions, whatever you like. I like red onions. salt and pepper. They get okay. real sweet. Yes. So yeah, the big... Uh, the big bartender's ball at the Marriott. Yes, it went really well. 1,500 people showed up. They stayed till about 3 o'clock in the morning. It uh, was a wonderful day for them. But that's great. I mean, there are some good charities that benefit yes. from that kind of turnout. And uh, I guess it was the um, it was the first time that the event had been put on in a few years. Took a little. It's been around for about 20 years, but took a little break. So yes. nice of you guys to host. I yeah. know it must be hard when it's 3 o'clock and there are still people hanging out wanting to party. And you have to flip the lights on and... Give them the yes. yellow. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. What I just put in was pepper jelly. You okay. You can find that at any uh, any store. Farm Fresh has it. Harris Teeter has it. Mm -hmm. But it's in the international aisle. All right. Okay. And it's got a little bite to it. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put some orange in it. And then we're going to let this simmer and let it thicken up so it'll be like a okay. glaze. All right. Good. Because I'm being told we've got to move it along. But when we come back, we'll check on the salsa and the glaze, and we're going to start our sauce. Yes. All right. All right, that pepper jelly gave it just the right thickness. The mm -hmm. salsa still simmering down. So how do you know when this is done and ready? Because you said you cook it and then cool it. I'm going to let it sit and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. But you see the thickness? Yeah. That's where you want to be. Okay. So I'm letting it sit now so everything will marinate and the flavors will work, and then I'll put it in there. What we're going to now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the sauce. As I had said in the courses, needs garlic. All right, so we've got a... Salmon glaze. We've got a salsa, a glaze, and a sauce. For the pasta, yes, because I knew Cheryl wanted pasta. It's a lot of sauce. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's all going to get along, though, right? All those flavors uh, are going to yes. get along? Putting in the artichoke hearts next. Okay. It's a silly question for a master chef, I know, but I couldn't help it. Chef Robert, of course, <laughs> joining us from the City Dock Restaurant and the Waterside Hotel just in uh, downtown Norfolk. Oregano we put Hotel. in, and we put in some onions. Mm hmm a little bit of salt and pepper, mm -hmm. a little bit of cumin, not a lot. 
Um, over on the news side this morning, we were talking about Japan again, and I know that you have been hosting a family who left um, Japan. Yes. How are they doing? They're doing great. The, the father goes back uh, every 10 days or so to check. And the unfortunate thing about them, or well, the lucky thing actually, is that they had all left the house and went to school and went to work. And when they came back, it was a plowed field. Wow. There was there was nothing there. So car, house, everything, clothes, mm -hmm. everything. So, you know, we've got them at the house now and uh, getting them back. And I think they're getting to like it. I, I think they just might be permanent residents. I don't you are know. cooking like this every day, <laughs> you know. Now, of course, this takes the vodka. Please always, when you're using alcohol, take it off the stove. Mm -hmm. It calls for a cup, but I don't want to <coughs> put a cup in because I'm afraid that no one will make it home this afternoon. <laughs> but what does what's the alcohol burn out when you cook with, with the alcohol, don't think? Kind oh, I guess pepper. you guys will find out at midday if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put Just a couple of ladles of uh, sauce in there? Oh, sure. Thank you. Sure. And, and you're very three. gracious of you, too. The Sheraton Waterside is where yes. you were. Okay. Nice of you to not correct me with a big... Wop on the head with the ladle. <laughs> okay, is that yeah, enough? That's funny. Okay. We'll let that work together. And then you're going to say, what the heck are you doing now? But I'm going to put coconut milk in this. What? Okay. And you're going to, once you get the aromatic smell of this, you're going to come over and say, the heck with the show. Let's just go and eat. Can I call a timeout? <laughs> Can I call a timeout? <laughs> All right, timeout. That does not look like coconut milk. What would you do to it? We made it thick mm -hmm. and then let it sit and then use a little bit of the vodka in it to thicken it up a little bit more. So how'd you do it? Just reduce cooked it, down? it down? Cooked it down, and okay. there it is. All right, wow. And then that turn beautiful? The basil goes in. Oh, there's wow. never, there's always room for basil. Just like <laughs> jello, there's always room for basil. All right, when we come back, we will put it all together. All, together. all these amazing dishes. <laughs> all right, look at you go. Guess what I just figured out? <laughs> You're making two separate dishes. Yes. That's why I thought we had an awful lot going on with the salmon between the salsa, the glaze, and the sauce. All right, everything is good to go. Okay, now. we've shocked the pasta, got that ready to go. The sauce is ready, the glaze is ready. Okay. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do that. Now, this goes over the... Uh, well, over the I just drape it off to the side, just in case people don't like it that much. Okay. Oh, I not like that. Thank you, you, know, you, you don't know, and I'll go ahead and put the sauce on the pasta. Mm -hmm. So are these uh, things that you're going to feature on your menu for, yes. say, Mother's Day, Easter? Well, they're special entrees uh, in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, for Mother's Day, of course, it's a buffet, so it's it's kind of hard to do something like this. But I got you. You know, people, they have the option of having a menu item anytime they'd like it. And mm -hmm. we make these. We try to change the menu every, every six months. Yep. And uh, these are some of the items yeah. that we're testing now that'll be on the menu. Can I ask you to give uh, only me and everybody watching like a little insider secret? As to? Well, when the menu changes, right, uh -huh. say you say there was something on the previous menu that you dig like a shovel and you want it, what are the chances of getting it if you ask your server, hey, can Chef Robert make the whatever from last time? Our policy in a restaurant, if I have the ingredients in the kitchen, I'll make whatever you want. See? Okay. Yeah. All right. I won't tell anybody else. Okay. Yeah. Good to know, though, because that happens sometimes. People hear, people hear a restaurant's menu is changing, and if they really like the menu, they may say, oh, and think they, you know, aren't going to go or find their favorite thing, and it's good to know that chances well, are pretty that, good. Well, that and plus, you know, the crab cake and the sea crab soup, which we've had here, if I was ever to take that off the menu, I'd probably just have to pack up and leave the city. There would be music, <laughs> for mutant. sure. All right. So you yeah. don't mess with the things that are proven favorites. Signatures we don't touch. Good. Yes. Okay. Just like in um, Massachusetts, the baked oh. beans and stuff. Well, we don't mess with baked beans no in way. Boston. The Fenway Frank? There it is. Going you know. nowhere. <laughs> Go nowhere. Right, I'm tired of holding this bowl. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put it over here. But this is how we, we would serve it. And okay. it's, we're going to let it sit now so it'll rest. And salmon should always rest a few minutes before you serve it. Yeah. Of course, pasta's ready to go. And then I'll go ahead and start making some for the audience. And we'll be good to go. I was going to say, as usual, you made enough to feed the whole crowd. And we yes. Brought, we love that about you. Great. Okay. And Thanks. don't forget, Easter's coming. We have the buffet at the restaurant mm -hmm. from 11 to 3. It's, uh, it's going to be really nice, really nice. So get your reservations in early okay. following that as Mother's Day. All right, and don't forget, we will put all of the ingredients and the instructions for each of the recipes because there are <laughs> two separate dishes today. Uh, the pasta that you made with it, what would you call this sauce? It's a chef sauce. A chef sauce, okay. <laughs> Not giving up all the secrets today. Uh, and then, of course, the salmon, too, with the glaze and the sauce. We'll put that all at the Hampton Roach. All right, chef.